much hope you are doing well hope you are at home so this is ritesh what i have for you today we are going to talk about two new features of tableau one parameter action and the second one is dynamic parameter so i would like to go uh, like to show you my dashboard uh, which is based on data lineage and how with the help of these two new features we took it to the another level you don't get freeze so before moving further let's talk about the data lineage data lineage includes the data origin what happens to it and where it moves over time data lineage gives visibility while greatly simplifying the ability to trace errors back to the root cause in a data analytics process so, so in front of you you can say there is a data warehouse system where there are several applications moving towards the downstream application which is the biggest uh, green circle over there and maybe you cannot see its customer detail so we have several reports based upon this big green circle uh, downstream application and you can see across the systems data is traveling ultimately to this very particular customer detail so imagine if one of the application gets corrupted if one of the application gets corrupted in in between then it will corrupt the ultimate downstream application as well and that would affect the reports which are based on the customer detail so this data lineage dashboard is all about to detect or trace back to the errors so how how we are doing that with the uh, tableau so let's go to the tableau dashboard so you you have you have got an idea right so this is our tableau dashboard now i'll show you the journey so this is our first version where we have two filters over there but this is a parameter now with the help of parameter for example we will go to the month of feb it's not feb yet okay so these three you can say these are meeting points of similar types of application okay tas or prime maybe say these are like hr applications which are dropping to a app so these are meeting points and these are the applications and this is the downstream application so we can see for the month of fab okay this is not this is not a good score i want to trace back and i see tas and prime so right now we this is a parameter i have chosen z1 so i need to choose that meeting point that will be a a p p v for this very particular lineage because the score of app was the lowest one so i selected that now i can trace back okay task score 1 3 3 so this is the culprit this is my first way to trace trace the error now we thought that okay if can we just you know instead of making use of this parameter can we just go to the meeting points and click on that and expand rather than selecting from this parameter now the parameter action came to rescue us now parameter action use parameter action to let your audience change a parameter value through direct interaction with the visualization that means instead of making use of this parameter can we have action here because means the action that i'm doing with the help of parameter can we just go directly over there can i just click and get the same effect so i used parameter action over here so now i am at parameter action sorry for this this is this will come at 2020.1 not not 2019 sorry for that but now here you can see i can click on any particular meeting point now here again i have to change that back to fab because the low we got the low score in the month of fab so now i want to again see 6 6 and 1 that's nice now there is no parameter filter over there okay i can task now again i go back and i see one but it would have been better if uh, i can just you know click click and go back to the error and also at the same time i don't want to see the other applications that may 
make my diagram clumsy if there are many applications over there so can i make my so why i'm not able to do that because my parameter is static if my parameter uh, is dynamic if it can change because applications are moving in and, and going out so parameter cannot control that if it is static but what can happen if it is dynamic i can show you now with the dynamic parameter deploy your workbooks with dynamic parameters and never again think about manually updating your parameter with the latest data that's what we were looking for here you go again change that to fab problem came in the month of fab score one boom that's what i wanted i don't want other applications i just want to concentrate the corrupted lineage 330 and here i um, and I can see the owner of this application is Charlie Parker and the ETL process is ETLF. That means I'll go back and I'll contact to that very particular application owner. So that so uh, you can see how with the help of these two new features, we were able to simplify, we, we were able to improve the user experience and I'm sure that you have your plans as well. So do share your plans as well with me. Keep on dancing with data. Be at home.